All right, folks, let's get into Andrew uh, Andrew Yang. All these, so many Andrews. You got Brown, Womble, Yang. There's so many. I, my brain. So Andrew Yang posted cringe a couple days ago. Uh, maybe it was yesterday. I'm not sure. Uh, but he was posting some cringe. And now he's apologized for posting cringe, apparently. Um, and we're going to see if this apology is good. Uh, so Andrew Yang yesterday said that he defend or supports Israel's right to defend itself or whatever. And what that really means is he supports the genocide and murder of children. Not a good look for someone to support the genocide and murder of children. It's a little strange. So let's see what he has to say in response to the criticism. By the way, the prayer emoji here, this is cringe. This is cringe. It makes this comical. This isn't a joke. Palestinians being fucking, like, children being murdered. It's not a joke. Oh, please forgive me. That's not a joke, Andrew Yang. That's not a goddamn fucking joke, you fucking fuckface. So we're already off to a horrible start. I spoke to a group of volunteers for the campaign yesterday, some of whom have been with me for years. Many of them were upset with my recent tweet expressing solidarity with the people of Israel. In con uh, again, solidarity in Israel are just words that should never be combined. In conjunction with the violence in the region this week that has claimed the lives of innocents and children on both sides. Imagine Andrew Yang commenting on slave uprisings, right? Like, like, I'm serious. Like, imagine, like, an escaped slave, like, throws a rock at someone who's chasing them on a horse, right? And then, like, you know, the reporting is, like, there has been violence on both sides. Right? Like, imagine, right, like, in Nazi Germany... Right, a, a Jewish person is uh, like running from their for their lives from the Gestapo, and they like you know there's like a traffic cone that they pull out like they toss over and it like you know makes a, a, a Gestapo officer trip and fall and scrape their knee. Violence on both sides. Yeah, violence on both sides. There's violence on both sides. The fuck. They expressed to me that they follow and support me for a number of reasons. One is that I am a clear-headed person who follows facts. That is not true. That is fact. Also, what is that? You're in... What? Okay. So you're going to issue a public apology for supporting genocide? Paragraph one. There have been violence on both sides. Already off to a horrible start. Paragraph two. My fans love me because I am so clear-headed and logical and factual. What? That would be like if I were to issue a public apology and was like, I know a lot of my fans think I'm beautiful and super hot and, you know, I'm just an amazing and, and like, honest and, and very funny person. And that's how I start my apology. What? Bitch, Miller, you, when you apologize, you don't fucking give off, like, fun facts about your fucking bubbly personality. What? The other is that I'm a human being who stands for universal values of fellowship and goodwill. That's not true. They've felt that my tweet was overly simplistic. That's not true as well. It's just outright wrong. In my treatment of conflict that has long and complex history full of tragedies. Violence on both sides. And they felt it failed to acknowledge the pain and suffering on both sides. They were, of course, correct. I mourn for every Palestinian life taken before its time, as I do for every Israeli. Jesus fucking Christ. Supportive people, blind to the pain, blah, blah, blah. And this is what I want. I join the mail, blah, blah, blah. Go fuck yourself. Andrew Yang, uh, he's garbage. If you like Andrew Yang at this point, May 12th, 2021 or, or further on, I'm sorry. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I mean, seriously, just go fuck yourself. You don't belong in society, honestly. Like, if you support genocide, go to fuck the jail for the rest of your life. Like, like, oh, go live on an island somewhere. Go, like, you know, like, fuck it. Like, we'll put some money into this. I'm down. We'll make an underwater sea dome, and we'll just send all the weirdos that support genocide to the underwater sea dome. That's worth it. Get them out of our regular society. We don't need them here. Send the cops. Send the killers. Send the Andrew Yangs to the fucking sea dome and have them live in their own little world. 
For comparison's sake, I sent a much better politician. All right, let's see what old Jess is up to. See, Jezza knows what's going on. Ceasefire needed now. I like again. I like. I really don't. It's not that. It's not that it's hard, right? Like it's not that it's difficult to say that genocide and apartheid is bad. Actually, it's not like a difficult. It's difficult to say slavery is. You know, actually, hot take. Slavery is no good. Hot take. Apartheid bad. Actually, hot take. Evictions, forced evictions, not good. Hot take, murdering children, it's actually not good. I do not support murdering children. Like, I, like, I get, I, like, what? Like, how is that, how is that Andrew Yang is struggling with this so much? So, yes, hot take, folks. I think killing kids is actually pretty based. What? <laughs> what the fuck? And you want me to vote for you? I don't live in New York. But, like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, what? Hot take, you know, like murdering children and destroying their homes and killing their family members. That's actually pretty rad. Um, please go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? People are crazy, man. They're out of control. Motherfucking Looney Tunes. 